Hey guys and welcome back. We're going to go ahead and cover a few more questions off of the arithmetic reasoning portion of the ASVAB. So let's go ahead and dive right in and let's see what we can learn. So this is the arithmetic knowledge portion of the ASVAB, the military entrance exam. And it says here that on opening night, 3,127 people attended a new play. The attendance for the next two nights is 2,944 and 3,009. What is the total number of people who saw the play on the first three nights? Now, obviously, you could line this all up and go ahead and add them up and go through the process. But the problem is there's no calculator on this test. And they're really kind of testing for your speed at this point. So although you could add those up, it probably is not within your best interest to do so like in the long form lining them up ways. Instead, what I would do is quickly look at these and notice that all three of them are about 3,000. So if we have 3,000 three times, that means we have about a total of 9,000. All right. Now, when looking at that, that means one of these two is going to probably be our answer. Well, let's take a look. This guy right here ended up being about, what, 56 short of being 3,000. This guy was 9 over, and this one was 127 over. So if I'm looking at these, my two options with the 9,000 are 80 and 800. 127 minus 56 plus 9, there's no way that's getting me up to 800. So that means that this answer must be 9,080. So again, this is a method of doing this where you're not actually adding it, and hopefully you would do all of this work in your head. I'm just showing you here to see what my process would have been. In number two of the ASVAB for arithmetic reasoning, it says here that a truck driver makes 10 cents for every mile he drives. The truck driver is also paid $8 per hour. If he drives 200 miles in four hours, how much does he earn in total? So there's actually two pieces here because you know that he's making 10 cents for every mile he drives and he drives 200 miles. So first off, let's knock that out. If I do 200 times that 0 0.10, that's going to tell me that he makes a total of 20 dollars by just moving the decimal place the over the same way you would there and that's gonna be a total of twenty dollars now let's go ahead and knock out that eight dollars per hour for four hours well eight times four is going to give me 32 so now we know that he's making $32 for the pay per hour. He's making $20 for the um, like miles he's driving. So all together, adding that up, we're going to see that he's making $52, which is answer B. Number three on the arithmetic reasoning portion of the ASVAB says an employee works 25 hours one week, 32 hours the next week, and 15 hours the week after that. In that three-week period, how many hours did she average each week? So if we're looking here, we just have to find the average, which if you didn't know, average is another word for the mean. So we're looking for adding up the three numbers and then dividing that by how many numbers we have, which is three. Well, let's go ahead and add these up first. Whenever you're adding, remember there's no calculator for this, so we want to make sure that we are grouping like easy ones to add together first. So if I'm looking at these, the easier ones to start with would be 15 and 25 because I know those fives will give me a whole unit of 10. So 25 plus 15 is going to end up giving me 40. Then we still have that 32 to add on to that, giving us a total of 72. Now remember, we need to find the average of these three, so we need to divide this number by three still. Look like a square root there. And if I look at that, 3 goes into 7 two times with one left over. 3 goes into 12 four times. So our final answer here should be 24, which is answer C. So number four says a homeowner must pay 2% of the appraised value of the home every year in taxes. If the house is appraised at $256,000, how much will the homeowner pay each year in taxes? So essentially, you have to find 2% of this entire thing. Now, the way you find a percent of a whole is you just multiply that number times the whole, and it will give you what 2% of that number is. But in this case, we are looking at the ASVAB, where you're not allowed to use the calculator, so it may be a little bit easier to do some mental math here. 2% is twice as much as 1%. 
And that's important because if you ever want to find 1% of a number, you just move the decimal place, so like the decimal would be here, you just move it two times to the left. And that's anytime you're multiplying by some form of 1 or 10 or 100 or in this case 0.01, you just move the decimal, any multiple of 10. So in this case, we're going to be moving the decimal two times to the left. So that gives us this 2,560, all right? So 2,560. Now that we have this, we just need to double it because that's 1%. We need 2%, so multiply it by 2. So if I'm doubling this, well, I can see right off uh, 2,500 doubled would be 5,000. Um, and then with another 60 would be another 120 doubled. So 5,120, which is answer C. So not too bad, just doing some little short tricks. So number five on the arithmetic reasoning portion of the ASVAB says that a company buys 500 bumper stickers. If the price of bumper stickers is $2 for the first 200 and 50 cents for each bumper sticker after that, how much does the company pay for the bumper stickers? So let's go ahead and break this down. First off, let's look at these first 200. So we have a total of 500, but the first 200 are $2 a piece. So that means we just do 200 times that two, because for $2 a piece, that's going to give us $400. Now it says after that, they're 50 cents a piece. Well, how many do we still have left? Well, we'd crossed out 200 of these, so we are left with 300 stickers left to purchase. And those 300 are going to be worth 50 cents a piece. Now you could multiply that out, but that would be silly. 50 cents is also essentially saying half of this because it's multiplying by one half or 0.5. So we can just find, well, half of 300 is 150. So if we are multiplying here, 300 becomes, that's going to be $150 at 50 cents a piece. So we now have another $150 we're adding on. So 400 plus that 150 is going to give me 550 for a final answer of C. Hey guys, that's all we're going to cover for today, but remember, you can always click on any of these videos over here to help you keep studying for your next attempt on the ASVAB.